Hi, my name is Trace. When I make videos to get the best audio possible, I record the video with a camera and simultaneously record a separate audio file using dedicated recording equipment. Right now, I'm recording this with a Zoom H1 out of camera shot. Then I replace the audio file from the camera's video with the better audio from the Zoom recorder. Needless to say, this adds more than a few steps to the editing process. In this video, I'm going to record the audio and video from two cameras using their internal microphones only. The Panasonic HC-V201 and the Zoom Q2HD. I'd like to see if either of their audio recording qualities will be good enough to use in introductory or talking head portions of my videos like this. This would save me a lot of time in post-production. Let's get to it. Right now I'm recording the audio and video with the Panasonic HC-V201. It's zoomed all the way out and it is approximately three feet away from me. The V201 has forward-facing microphones that face directly at the subject. Some cameras of this type have microphones that face upward to reduce wind noise, but the recording quality is poor because their microphones are facing away from the subject. The microphones on the V201 are typical of the microphones that can be found on most cameras of this type. Now for the crucial test. I'm recording this from the Zoom Q2 HD. However, in order for me to frame this shot the same way I framed the shot from the V201, I had to place the camera approximately six feet away. That's twice the distance from the previous recording. I have the gain turned to maximum, and this camera uses three microphones and records in the mid-side configuration but I've turned the side microphones off, so I'm only recording this from the center microphone. So this is how my voice sounds from six feet away, recording from the middle microphone. The microphones on the Zoom Q2 HD are phenomenal. They record my voice this well from approximately six feet away. However, the video quality isn't the best indoors, and I'm going to have to do some experiments with lighting to see if I can improve the quality before I can use this camera for these kinds of portions of my videos. I'll keep you posted. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.